In this video I will be showing how to make this metal sword with a wooden handle. And sorry if the quality is bad. We're going to start with a sheet of steel. This is 2 inches wide, 1 eighth of an inch thick, and 3 feet long. Get a piece of paper, fold it in half so it's the same on each side, and then cut it out to the shape of your blade. Place what you cut out onto the piece of metal and trace it onto it. Then draw out the design for the handle on the other end. The end of the handle to the tip of the blade is how long the sword's going to be. Clamp the metal onto a table or a workbench so that it can be cut out. I'm going to use this jigsaw blade, specifically made to cut metal an eighth of an inch thick. Now you're going to cut the metal out with the jigsaw, being careful not to mess up the design. This is what it looks like after it's cut. Now you're going to use a file to even it out on each side so it's not so rough. Now flip it around and do the same thing to the front part. If you want to sharpen it, you can start by filing it at an angle to give it a sharp edge. Then flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Continue doing this until you feel it's sharp enough. Now you can start filing the sides of the blade. You can do this by filing at roughly a 45 degree angle, then a 30 degree angle. A good technique for filing is to stand where the blade points and file back and forth in front of you, just like this. Do it until you feel it's sharp enough. Take a piece of high grit sandpaper and smooth out the edges. Now get a wooden dowel that's the same size as the handle on the metal and mark a length but make it short enough that there is room for the guard and the pommel. Then cut it out with a handsaw. Draw a line in the center so that you can cut the dowel in half. You should end up with two similar pieces. If they're kind of rough, sand the inside ends. If the metal is rough, you can also sand it down. Now you're going to mark spots where the nails will go through. Here I've put two on one and three on the other. Make sure that when you mark them that they're not in the same place. For the screws I will be using these one and a half inch long and one eighth of an inch thick screws. Make sure that when you get a drill bit it's the same thickness and it can drill metal. Start by drilling holes in the wood. Then once you mark the spot, drill through the metal. Right now I'm hammering the first nail into the wood through the pre-existing hole. To make sure that the other hole is in the right place, put another nail through and trace where it meets. On the spot that you marked, put a nail there and hammer it a couple times so that there's a guide for the tip of the drill bit. Then drill the hole. Now drill the holes on the other end of the dowel. When you put something through the holes on the first dowel, and the holes on the metal, it should line up like this, with enough space for the guard. Now put guides on the other side with the original technique, or by just drilling through the holes in the dowels. Using the guide marks, drill through the next three holes. When you try to screw in the screws, they should be kind of hard to screw in, but they should be in enough that they're not going to fall out. The nail has to be short enough that it goes through the dowel and barely goes through the metal. You can cut it with a handsaw. If you want it to fit without sticking out, get another drill bit that's the same width as the screw head and drill holes. The screw should be just longer than the dowel so it fits in the middle. When you put all the screws in, it should fit snugly. 
Now get a piece of wood that fits in the place you left for a guard. On it, draw out the design and cut it out with either a jigsaw or a handsaw, whichever works. Again, cut out wood for the pommel. It should be thicker than the width of the handle. You can sand it with either a sandpaper or belt sander. Since I don't have an upright belt sander, I'm using this handheld one that I've put upside down. You're going to want to sand down the edges and make it smooth and so that it fits the design. Smooth the pieces out with high grit sandpaper. On one side of the guard, mark a line that's the same width as the handle. On the other side, mark a line that's the width of the blade. To make space for it to fit through the handle, drill a couple of holes through it. Then you're going to want to drill it at an angle so that the shorter end meets the longer end, kind of in a triangular shape. Now you're going to cut off a bit on the back of the handle so that it has space for the pommel to slip on. Drill through the pommel using the same technique that you did on the cart. The space that you drilled out should be the same shape as the back of the handle. The guard should slip on easily and the handle should screw in perfectly. Then you'll put on the pommel. You can stop here or you can do something like it. wrap material around the handle or paint or stain the wood. I'm using this thing called polypro strapping. It comes in rolls like this of about 5 feet. I wrapped it around the handle and screwed it in place. Otherwise your sword should look something like this. And that's it, now we're done. And there you have it, a metal sword. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to our channel.